Here we continue again. Although, I'm suddenly realizing, uh, because of the way I think I put in the snail, I think it's going to reset it anytime I switch to a different scene. Oh well, small price to pay for a little guy uh, going around the screen. <laughs> Uh, why are we getting full-on loading screens? I don't like that fleshy, wet noise. Tia, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm in some sort of... Hell, I'm not sure what to call it. Oh, something's moving in there. It's alive. Oh boy, it's the cloning vats. Half-formed clone. Bodies grown for research, sale, or other unimaginable purposes. The flesh has accreted in irregular clumps throughout the vat, forming hairy muscular hillocks. I don't know, where'd the description go? I see. Can I... I thought that was too easy. I see. What if I unscrew it? Timber! Are you kidding me? What can I do with the generator? Alright, I can turn the generator on and off. And maybe now I just use the crowbar and pry it up? Chose a good time to eat your dinner? Yeah! Well, let's just grab the exposed wires. Grab the exposed wires. It's fine. Hmm. of eating dinner. Guess the uh, clones are eating fresh meat today. 2151. We left in 2148. Three years ago. These bastards had us here for three years. Oof. Well, that's not good. Let's see, we can unscrew it, we can 
pry it up, and then we get the exposed wires. I'm not sure what to call it. We can turn the generator on and off. Presumably we need to connect the generator to the exposed wires somehow. So that way we can zap what's going on. What if I try and crowbar the generator? Emergency tape? No. It's just crazy. Hello. Real? Well, I can try to make it fit, but it may break. What about the construction light? Can I break the construction I don't know light? What I was thinking that. Well, I can try to make it fit, but it may break. Nah, that's ridiculous. All right, maybe I need to have the light on to interact with the wires. Oh, it still has fuel in it. Look at this. Why does it have the grabby hand? But I can't do anything. Killing me, game. You're killing me. Literally, if I walk out there, at least. My dude, what do I do? Um, Uh, are you kidding me? This should be useful. Who would think of making a grappling hook with the crowbar and the rope? That is ridiculous. Yeah, apparently I can combine that nylon rope I picked up with the crowbar. Alright. Not how I was thinking I would solve this. What do we got? Jumper cable, I see. Now we can turn on the electricity. Maybe? Uh, whoops. As just combining, can I like uncombine them? I don't think that'll work. How do I use the fucking what's the jumper cable for? Hmm. If I turn it on... Wait, no. When you're using jumper cables, you don't want the thing on first. I feel like that would electrocute me. Did I use it right? This goes on here. 
Alright. I don't know why it was giving me the grabby hand. That was very... I don't know. That was not intuitive. I, I was too busy thinking of, like, trying to attach things to the, uh, that. Stay calm as you torture all of these clones to death. Noted. Alright. Oh, I hate this. Just... Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Oh. Oh, those sound effects. Unfortunate. Oh, and it looks like the the other dude made it across but got pulled back. I'm working on getting out of here. I can see a light far above me. I think it's a way out. So I don't know if our little uh, things killing is just the clones gone amok or if it's one of the experiments. Or. I thought I heard a whisper. Hmm. Let's see. Standard growth enhancement, 150% concentration, plus additional growth hormones from Project Seed. Incomplete human clones, intended for harvest of pulmonary, pulmonary and coronary tissue. Growth hormones from Project... Oh no, is Project Seed, like, we're trying to grow the humans even faster? You know, because if we make the humans fully mature faster, then we get, you know, more money from making things faster. Also, now this is a fucking keyboard, and we have all these switches? Hmm, now this is an operator. Products developing at 800% acceleration from the selected control group. However, several anomalies have occurred. Anomaly example, a tissue mass is developed into a tail of sorts. It circles the vat, using the aforementioned tail to propel itself. Mass with tail appendage has been assigned the, a name Samantha. Despite the previous belief that the circling behavior was a product of instinct, it is now clear that it has been surveying the vat's electronic safety net and searching for vulnerabilities. Samantha has been extracted and moved to security for temporary storage. She thrashed violently when upon removal damaging equipment and other specimens. Ah. Oh, that's, that's all three. Oh, so not only was it... Oh, it was intelligent. Yeah, it's your tail. Like my little tail. Although, we don't have a flashlight, but I do need the plushie. I, uh, I could use a comfy plushie whenever playing a spooky game. Why is my camera tracking? Damn it, tracking! How do you get dislocated like that, my dude? Growth agent enriched with additional amino acids, 300% concentration. Enhanced human clones, intended for immediate research. Specimens began to move about the vat immediately during the embry embryonic phase. All subjects developing at nearly 500% acceleration. Effective growth agent concentration on subject development, ruled parabolic rather than linear. Multiple subjects have combined to form a larger mass of arthropoid limbs and organs. It surfaced and was then ruled deceased. It appeared to be comprised of approximately 12 human-like bodies, all roughly infant-sized. Batch has been active for 96 hours. Development of other subjects remains regular. <laughs> oh, lovely! <laughs> now we have spider babies being made. That's great. That's fine. That's awesome, in fact. Baby ball. Uh, am I playing Stasis or am I playing Alice uh, again?
standard growth enhancement agents. Complete human clones intended for immediate testing. Mary is a little lamb, sleepless black as coal. When Mary went to bed one night, it ate her fucking soul. That's one way to have the rhyme. I feel like the people here are, are probably going to need a lot of therapy. Subjects appear to develop bone and tendon structure prior to vital organs, but following nervous system development. Growth of muscle has begun to progress. One specimen ceased to grow and was confirmed dead. Upon autopsy, three extra vertebrae were discovered, as well as two ribs. However, only a few teeth were found deep within the mandible? Alright, I don't think... People should have mandibles. Growth of all specimens has accelerated. Any given clone measures just under 7 feet, and possesses the auxiliary ribs and vertebrae observed in the failed subject. All vital organs are present and appear to be performing normally. Despite the abnormal rib and spinal developments, the clones seem to be perfectly functional and fully matured. One, however, was rendered blind as a result of improper cephanoid development. All of them had extra... What's in that growth enhancement agent? I feel like it's not a good blend. I feel like there's something spooky in it. Oh, I think that's a ladder up there. Come on, John. Jump on it. All right. Grapple hook. Got it. Damn. Uh, what's that shaking? No, my grapple. You monsters. I need this place. You and me, John. You and me. This is concerning. I don't like this view. It makes me feel tiny. This is a very big room. My safety grapple. I know, and our crowbar. What? We can't have zombie-like entities and not have a crowbar. It's here. Ah! Alright, I guess we're not going back. Rarely breed, rarely trafficked areas breed unconventional forms of life. Here, the graffiti tacker has covered the tram station with a wild variety of tribal markings. <laughs> um, I'm guessing we don't go down and we just go up. All right, how far away are we from uh, medical? Why was there a laughing child? <laughs> no! All right, it somehow moved me backwards. So I don't know if there was more to that cutscene. I'm just... No. I am recognizing the raw materials contained in the tag. Uh. Come in. John, thank goodness. I can hear you. You just disappeared. No radio, no PDT. Who the hell was that? Dr. Herodis Milan, head of special projects. Of course he is head of special projects. It's a big ship. And, um, I'm in a different division to him entirely. 
And you met him once. A real asshole. That's the plan. Alright, but you said we were the only two people left on this ship. So... I feel like you're not elaborating enough. This is such a weenie? What? The tower is pretty dang ominous, especially with this multi-airlock thing that's going on. Find the daughter, find the wife. Functioning at benchmark levels. The outside temperature is minus 218 degrees Celsius. Outside temperature is negative 218 Celsius? Well, that's a might bit... That's a might bit chilly, don't you think? Might need to grab the jacket. You're such a weenie. What? Do you have a jump scare? Space cold. No. I mean... I think it's debatable because I think the thing is, is that, uh, you know, you can only transfer heat by colliding with objects, but because space is such a void, you know, as we are entities that are, what is it, exothermic, we produce heat, arguably you might actually overheat if you go into space. Or, you know, just lack of breath. That's also a problem. This is such a nice, hopeful music that's playing now with the, the strings. I cut his wrists. Oof. I wonder if it, it's the fungus, the space fungus, or if it's just... Uh, uh, mental breakdown, because, uh, I get the feeling this corporation maybe doesn't allocate funds for therapy, you know, just maybe. The whole shift change kind of thing is kind of strange. Putting Ronald in security when he's obviously not equipped strikes me as irresponsible. Oh, well, I'm sure I can compensate. Notice we're not telling us to follow new security guidelines this evening. Wonder what happened? Only a few extra doors to lock, as far as I'm concerned. Easy enough. Food supplies are stalled, and people are getting nervous. Someone's been distilling alcohol, despite the fact that express authorization is required to even process it. Ivan was describing the concept of moonshine to Ronald, and the guy asked how moonshine could exist if we're in a spaceship so far away from the moon. I swear to God, aliens board this ship and pick us off one by one or something? I want to see Ronald go first. <laughs> Uh, that's, that's pretty mood. I, I feel like everyone has that one co-worker that's like, just take him first, please. Give me the satisfaction. <laughs> really want to do something about this alcohol situation. It's my duty to ensure that Groom Lake's crew is secure and that important research isn't interfered with. At least, I like to believe so. These clowns don't even share the sentiment. Ass end of this ship just started exploding and jolted everything that wasn't bolted down. It's already a goddamn pen stuck in the wall next to me. I can only imagine all the people injured right now, but I can't leave on account of the lockdown. Lockdown or not, Station B is fucked. But getting to medical isn't happening. Someone suggested we could use the specimen transport track. That shitty is all hell. There's no leaving the security center now. Staring at Ronald's lifeless body is a fucking superior alternative than being ripped apart by whatever's outside. 
I hear screams. They're distant, muffled. Silence. 24 hours of silence. Not a scream, not a footstep, still not a word from Ivan. The guy looked away from atmosphere control room just before Ronald pulled the plug. I got bored and read Ronald's file. He had a lot of stuff running really- SHUT UP! I'm reading here! GOD! Read the room, okay? Maybe he wasn't ignorant after all. That's it for the water. Ivan refused to drink anything but moonshine. Try my best to get him to get him to have water. Stubborn bastard wouldn't hear it. He hasn't moved in a while. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, Zyvan. Look, I Anderson, it's really something. Five minutes in the door and he's already asking what all the computers do. I like it. He's acquisitive, just like my boy back home. I'm glad he got put here in shift change, but I'm disappointed that neither of these two are ladies. Could use some female company. Okay, maybe Anderson is a little more confused than inquisitive, but his heart is in the right place. I can respect that, but Sarge? How in the hell did the boy get Sarge from S Serato? Oh, this is just plain obnoxious. I think I won't back up my stasis pod. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know what? On second thought, I want to I go back into my nap. Ooh, it's not coming for a while. Fortunately, somebody's been making moonshine. It's not the white oat whiskey from home, but you don't come across much liquor in space. Looks like I'll be moderating the supplies, so to speak. Hodgson just tried to arrest someone. Prick. Rations are in! Good thing, too. Liquor wasn't keeping the crew at bay like it used to. The entire ship smells like shit. It's always been bad, but it gets worse every day. It's even a different type of shit once in every, every once in a while. Beyond me. Groom Lake is on lockdown. Tremors, power outages, and several injured. Some guys left three days ago to repair a tram station. Haven't heard from them since. I only fear the worst. I don't want to figure- wait. I don't want to figure out what's been going on around here. Paul and I have agreed on a solution, but Anderson isn't grasping it. Don't expect him to. I knew Anderson would have trouble coping. No, he wouldn't understand. At least he went easier than we will. He saw so much in his short life. Just wasn't room for more. He'll never have a funeral. Nobody back home is going to think him and wonder what happened. I think Paul and I are the only people on this ship who knew him by name. Maybe that Samantha girl he was talking about still remembers him. A dog could be named after him. Or maybe he picked her a flower and she tucked it in a book. I never did read much, but right now, I'd love to be holding a book. Poe would work. He's the only author I know by name. I haven't talked to Paul. He thinks I'm drinking, but I'm too preoccupied with Anderson for that. I figure I'm writing this for a reason. What if nobody ever reads it? What if this ship just drifts to the edge of the universe, dead and empty? If you exist, you somehow stumble upon this. But remember Anderson for me. It reminds me so much of how my son used to be. You don't do it, nobody will. I don't beg. I never beg. But if you're a decent human, you'll know why you have to. Remember Anderson. Barely awake. Typing is an effort. Moonshine is not water. Hodgson had last word. Oof. Alright, let's check the cameras, because they're probably going to fucking scare me with something going across the camera. Hmm. Well, that one doesn't look like it's healthy. Can I click on them? No. Alright. We probably need to clean up that biohazard. Um. Let's. Alright, let's just... Atmosphere control access. Activate motion detector. Ooh, I'm ready 
figure something out here. Hmm. So we need to be over there as it's scanning. No, it doesn't let me run. Hmm. So we're gonna need a way to have. Mo oh, maybe maybe we'll find like a Roomba or something. Uh, which is the exit? I think it's this hallway. There we go. Let's head to the crew corridors. See what we got. Once we know where Becca is, how can I get to her? There is another tram through the crew quarters. Once we know where you're going, we'll move forward from there. More trams. It's just trams all the way down, buddy. Noted. I wish I could do something. Something more. <sighs> Help me. Oh, lovely. Getting sick of this bumps and scrapes bullshit. I didn't get this degree just so I could be stitch up idiots when they accidentally stab themselves with a pen. I want to do fun experiments. Is that too much to ask? It's not like I want to be a mad scientist and sew new arms to people or anything. Although, human spiders would be cool. No, no, keep him away, keep him away. Th you know what? This guy is probably why we had the spider baby from the vat. This guy fucking had something to do with it, I just know it. You're putting away tissues from that scare. <laughs> oh, lucky you. Glad I can be heard across the room, apparently. <laughs> it's a miracle! Security somehow ended up passing a container from one of the clothing vats to me. It's labeled Samantha. They don't understand it's to be transferred to Lab 18, right? Oh well, no reason I can't observe it for a while, right? I'll have my loyal assistant, Miram, make up some good excuses for me. This creature is marvelous! The notes included... Don't have, don't say much, but I'm pretty sure that she didn't have a fully formed spine when they picked, packaged this girl up. Describes her as being just a tail. There's some other bones as well, but I didn't major in monster anatomy. Wish I had though. Can't make this shit up. Now, this fucker grew eyes. I mean it. She did not have these the last time I checked. They're rudimentary, sure, but they just grew. They follow me around. At this point, I'm going to take credit for Samantha entirely. I mean, they can't prove that there was anything more than just stem cells in that container when they last saw it, right? From now on, Samantha is mine. I can't wait to see what she turns into. Lab 18 is definitely getting suspicious and impatient. Running out of excuses for why I haven't transferred Samantha yet. I need Miriam to stall a bit longer. I read her PDA, so I know she wants to turn me in. She wants my job. Fortunately, I have video of her screwing the guys from the lab. All of them. So there's my job security. Fucking, what a toxic workplace. Everyone is just awful here. This just got serious. The tremors knocked me over the counter, and I twisted a muscle in my knee. It's gonna be a long lockdown spent bandaging people up without any access to the full medical wing. Samantha isn't mine anymore. Some other poor fool can take responsibility for this one. Oh, oh really? Did Samantha break out and start murdering people? I heard shell screams coming from the entertainment area. First and last time I performed surgery, the patient woke up and started screaming her head off. Something about seeing your own exposed ribs really bothers people. Anyway, those screams were like that, only more intense. This is screams of the dying. I've locked the emergency bulkhead. No signs of Miriam. What? You said you got a degree? Obviously not an anesthesiology or fucking bedside manner. What the fuck? Oh, that's horrifying. Um, so if we try and go through here, will it kill us? Oh, no, okay. It's just a jump scare. Uh... 
that an iron lung? Interesting. All right, so we got the DNA scanner. Um, are we gonna use a hypodermic needle to get blood? Yep. I don't recommend doing this to yourself. I saw something on the other side of the window. Is, is the DNA scanner done? Are we done here? Can I fuck off? I'm not sure. This game is good at fucking getting my expectations. Like, I, it delays it just long enough, so I'm like, all right, so there's not gonna be anything scary here. And then it will fucking hit me. <laughs> I love scary games. I hate scary games. I love scary games. <laughs> oh, that creature. Dr. Green is up to no good. This weird pod accidentally arrived in our medical bay. It holds the most terrifying creature I've ever seen in my life. And he says it's beautiful? I love horror games. I do. Don't mind all the tears. <laughs> he wants me to find excuses for why isn't being transferred to Lab 18. Good thing the guys there like me. I'll help him keep it a secret for now. Though I might get his job if I could get him kicked off the Groom Lake. Keep an eye on what he's up to. Interesting. This thing is growing all sorts of body parts at ungodly rates. Notes say it was just a tail and some flesh at some point, but I don't even see the tail anymore. What kind of fucked up experiments are we doing? Fuck. I'm locked out of the medical bay. Dr. Graham has locked himself in there with that thing. We need to help those injured people. Insufferable prick. They want to use the specimen transport track to get the injured crew members to the medical wing. Even if the ship wasn't falling apart, that's a terrible idea. It's funny to see everyone frantically typing away on their PDAs. Who's gonna read it? The surface of whatever planet's gravitational pull the lifeless Groom Lake gets sucked into doesn't care about your damn feelings. I see. Alright, let's see if I die if I go up to the frosted glass. Nope. Alright, we're good. So is the specimen in the iron lung? Because I thought the specimen escaped. Do I... I'm guessing I just leave. Let's... go away. Wait! Something moving. No... I mean... The iron lung does move. I don't think I can move it though. Yeah, I can't push the iron lung. Is there a grab button? I thought I saw a grab. That's just crazy. Although We must free the specimen from the iron lung! Crazy. Nah. Um let me just... Did she get all the data? God forgive us. Thank you for reading that, because I couldn't.
What did you do? Alright, can I do something to the motion detector? I don't think this will fit. No. What do the security cameras look like now? Hmm. I don't see anything that jumps out at me. Um... Hmm. What am I missing? So fast, I didn't even see what the fuck it was. That wasn't even a person. It was, it was an animal. The upload finished. I'm going to start the scan now. Tia, what's going on here? I've heard things, but I don't know any specifics. You have to believe me. Maybe it was one of those fucking things that ate Yuri. I grow plants. I don't care for man's pets. Just... Just let me know when the scan's finished. Secondary containment is now accessible. Head through to the other tram station. She's just saying hi. Ah, very excitedly, just jumping right through the frosted glass. It's very excitable. Hi. Hi. Serotonin levels are abnormal. Sener serotonin levels. Is this area like full of drugs? Oh yeah, feeling real good now. No power to the elevator. Obviously got to get to the entertainment block. Door lock due to atmosphere control override. John, wait. There's a highly corrosive gas on the other side of that door. Shit, I've already cycled the lock. John! Atmosphere compromised. Death is in. <laughs> ah! Okay, second so I wasn't sure if we would die. I'm like, man, that was a really drawn, long, drawn out death. <laughs> All right, we're up to three deaths, I think now. Warning, serotonin levels are abnormal. Why did it do that echoey thing when turning on the lights? Turning on the lights, turning on the lights. Hmm. At the thickest sections of tangled growth, bulbous knots form a shape eerily close to that of a human body. As you listen, you can hear the rasp of labored breathing. Huh. So that um, Samantha was able to keep growing despite not being in the cloning vat solution anymore. So I'm wondering if they found something that would just like grow forever. Can we harvest these. I don't know what I was thinking. No. 
Flaps of industrial grating have pushed upward from below, rumpled like a discarded me memo. The guts of the level below lie exposed. That might be unidirectional, so let's check out these data pads. Shelby Isaacson. Of no relation to Isaac in uh, Dead Space. Sentient space. Yeah, exactly. Even better. Sentient space fungus. I couldn't even be bothered to get out of bed today. Nobody came asking questions, though, so that works. Sometimes when I first wake up, wait as long as possible to say my first word of the day. And that word serves as a prediction of how shitty that day is going to be. Naturally, Isabella woke me up by asking if I'd rather fuck Grant or Harry. I thought she was supposed to be some kind of feminist who doesn't ask, need a man. Hypocrite. Answer the question, I'd need to do a bit of research. Harry will suffice for that. Guess I'm ob obligated to write about the ship lockdown since it's all life-threatening or something. I don't know why we even carry these PDAs. Seriously, I will never go back and read this shit. The Grim Lake got a 300% funding increase, and I have a feeling we're doing some more shady bullshit with it. Welcome aboard the Grim Lake, where as far as the universe is concerned, you don't exist. As far as the board is concerned, you don't exist. Nothing actually exists. Humanity's gonna flip shit when they finally figure that out. So, Grant's gay. I knew I had seen him checking Harry out. Lips are sealed. Good for Harry and Grant. It's gonna be a long, painful death if we don't get those rations soon. Might have to start murdering and eating my blockmates. I'll start with Grant, because he's got the most meat on him. Harry is last, because I'm I'm in no hurry to put my mouth on that again. Whoa, the fucking shade. Hey, someone's making some booze. Humanity has truly reached the apex of engineering. Space moonshine. Brings a smile to my eye and a tear to my heart. Get me some. Taste, 0 out of 10. Effectiveness, 10 out of 10. This stuff has to be at least 120 proof. I had to do something I totally don't regret to get it, and it was worth it. <laughs> Show me. Yeah. I like... Everyone is certainly, uh, very human. They're all kind of bastards. <laughs> Liquor supplies running low. Food supplies running high. I'm disappointed. Heroes think I'd be enjoying moonshine marinated leg of Grant this evening. Disappointing. At least I didn't starve. Um, are they eating crew members? On one hand, something exciting happened. On the other hand, we're probably going to die or something. I have no regrets. Not even that thing I did to get the moonshine. I've been thinking about it over the last couple days, and I sincerely can't think of anything I regret. Not hooking up with Harry. Not pursuing music instead of physics. Nothing. It's all part of what made my life mine. Life carries on no matter what, so I guess it's best to be satisfied with little I did accomplish. The universe swallows you atom by atom eventually. You know, I'm proud of how far those atoms made it from when they first got together to form Shelby Isaacson to where they are now. You know, I'll, I'll give Shelby one thing. She's at least kind of positive at the end of... She's got like a, a positive nihilism going on. <laughs> Good for her, I think. <laughs> Laundry day zero one two three five eight. Well, they're numbers. I'm going to note them down. Another day, another long day in hydroponics. I planted carrots today. Play seriously sucks, but I figure the longer I work at King Corp, the sooner they'll be able to replace th this defective uterus of mine. Uh, so I wonder if a lot of, like, part of the signing bonus, because they have the clone vats, is they're like, we'll replace those organs of yours, guarantee! With, like, a little asterisk on, like, you know, we're not gonna say when we're gonna do it. And we're not really going to guarantee it's the best. And that we haven't experimented on it. 
Once you'll get the organ. Maybe. Need a new brain. <laughs> Fucking mood. I, I could do with a new spine. Can you do spines or is it only soft fleshy organs? You know, a, a full bo bone replacement would be nice. Harry is protective and not in a cute way. It makes me feel a little uncomfortable. His attempts to protect my honor, his words, whenever Grant even looks at me are unnervingly familiar. Just like my ex-husband used to do. Not ready for another round of that bullshit. Oof. Half the ship's been put on lockdown for two long weeks. Apparently some new scientists boarded today. So maybe they'll be able to resolve the issue. But what do I know? I make vegetables reproduce for a living. I have to admit, Harry's whole stalker thing can be great at some times. He's growing herbs for me so I can have make tea. With all this new security bullshit, I wouldn't dare use company resources personally like that. I've been pretending to like Grant just a little bit. I don't, but it keeps Harry on his toes. Harry opted to stay on the Groom Lake for another round. He was eligible to leave at the shift change, but he chose to stay. Gee, I wonder why he'd do that. He's a grown man for goodness sake, but he's acting like a lovesick teen. He needs to stop fucking calling me Belle though. It's Isabella, like the Queen of Spain. I keep hearing chatter about a fungal growth spreading all over Groom Lake. Let's hope it doesn't get here to hydroponics. I'd be devastated if anything happened to my precious celery. No, not the celery. My mirepoix. Spoke way too soon. Came into Hydro today to find out everything coated in this strange fungus. Harry actually had a pretty good idea. What if we fought the fungus with genetically enhanced super mushrooms? Nope. Crossbreeding mushrooms did not improve things. Hopefully the emergency rations will get here soon. Less people want to eat the portobellos from hell, that is. This shit is about to get dangerous. No, they actually did it! You fools! You made the fungus with a normal fungus. Now it's 200% fungus! People, people have been beaten up. Some are even dead. We've seen, I've seen a lockdown before, but it wasn't a mass panic like this. Will it be over soon or ever? Harry told me to stay in the sleeping, sleeping block because it could be dangerous outside. You know, I've taken care of myself for 28 years without help from Harry. I think I can handle myself. I'm not going to spend the final days of my life playing the helpless female. I'm not going to cling to Harry, even if he's the last human being I'll ever see. He can't expect anything from me. Alright, 